Welcome YouTube. Again, Smooth Bass Man Part 2 of the video about setting up a new audio interface. So once you've went into your VST audio bay and set up your new device, now you have to set up your device routing. And that is available in VST Connections. If you click on VST Connections, uh, it already assumes your new audio device. And it comes up with some standard options for you. So you can see here, it just says Motu Audio ISO Stereo In. Then it just selects the, the first two um, devices there. But I have 22 inputs. So I want to do some, some different things. So you can just add a bus. And this is the, the luxury of this interface here. You can create multiple input and output setups and just recall them at a moment. So I'll show you how to do that. So real quick, I'm going to set up two mono uh, inputs. And this is going to be mic one. And the second one, I just call it mic two. And I want to use just my mic guitar line so you can see that's already selected there and then I select mic guitar 2 for there so real quick and easy I just want to set up these two uh, to set up a template for podcasting so this little orange dot right here means that's the default um, input for this I don't want that to be the default I want this one to be the default so we add default bus there switch the mic and then I don't want this one in this particular template so I'll just remove that bus. So I have two of my 22 inputs, mic one and mic two available for me. So now I want to save that. So I'll click here and click store. I type in the preset name. I'm just going to do mic one and mic two. And hit OK. Well, now that particular one is in the list for me to go back and select plus the one I had started with that Cubase is set up as a generic one is available to a stereo in. So you can do multiple of these. So let's do one more and let's start here. Let's do uh, eight mono in and we'll come over here and we'll select just the analog channels one through eight in order. Just like that. Those line up with mono one through eight. Now you can come in here again and you rename these because you want them to name them something that means something. Because if, if you got a lot of hardware like I do, you have to make sure that you know which device it's coming from. So for this particular one, you want to do 828 underscore one for analog one. And then I'm going to do that all the way down. And now when you get through renaming them all, it's got 828, one through eight. You come back over, check. Boom, make sure that those are there. Uh, that was named eight mono in, so we'll store that as the same preset name, eight mono in, hit okay. And now your eight mono in um, is now selected down here at the bottom. Again, you can go back up to the top, normal eight mono in, and you click this negative button right here and it will actually delete that preset out of your list and now you only have one so that's how you set up your routing again you can use multiple inputs multiple times so i could actually select this two here and and select it as one so you can see that 828 one and two are on analog one that is handy when you want to use set up stereo buses and mono buses in one preset and I'll show you how to do that right quick so I'm just going to go start over with stereo in uh, that's the basic and I want to add a bus so I want to add two stereo buses add another bus and add two four mono buses so the stereo in here don't need that so I'll right click and do remove bus so we got stereo in two and three so I'm gonna do analog one 
and then log two for that and stereo in and log three and log, and log four but for the mono ends i want to do analog log one two three and four so you need to come in and, and rename these stereo one two Stereo three, four, and then of course the standard convention, like I showed you before, eight twenty eight underscore one. Underscore two and so on and so forth. So now that you got them all named, um, select which bus you want to be your default. Uh, I want stereo one and two to be the default. And then we'll store that. So we'll uh, store it as four channel. Stereo. Mono. Boom. So now you know you got your first four channels with the stereo and mono set up. So what's the advantages of using this here to set up multiple options for you? Let me show you. So we'll close this out and we'll come over and we'll select a new project. We'll make it empty. So now when you come in and add an audio track, Let's do a mono track and let's do a stereo track. You can come up to devices, VST connections, select which one you want to work with. I want to work with one mic one and two. So I'll select that for this particular project. Now you can see when I click on that, the default is mic one. And those are my only two choices, mic one and mic two. Say, so, hey, I don't want like that set up anymore. VSC connections quick button is F4 I do 8 mono right here close that out and now when I select on it I can see my mono channels as well as my stereo buses now you can select left or right and if you're working with the mono track you can select left or right channel of that stereo bus um, but I like to see all my buses broken out separately so and as well as you can record a stereo bus from a mono channel as well. So you no need to, to do that. Um, so everything is available to you. And those names that you named them are right here in the box for you to be able to use very quickly. So that's real quick, down and dirty, how to set up uh, your audio connections after installing a new piece of hardware. <laughs>